Hey what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. We post content daily, so consider giving this episode a thumbs up, join the notification squad by subscribing and hitting that bell notification on, but also, don't forget to comment down below saying I subscribed to enter our monthly shoutouts and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Hope you enjoy the video. Most people might see TV shows as smaller versions of movies, but they still require just as many professionals behind the scenes to make sure everything goes smoothly. In order to produce a television series, writers, actors, camera operators and crew members have to work in perfect unison, but as you can imagine, things don't always go as planned. From mysterious editing fails to embarrassing factual errors, here are 10 biggest mistakes in popular TV shows. ABC's Lost was one of the most successful television shows ever because it would deliver clues, hints, twists and massive conspiracies on a weekly basis. However, when the show ended in 2010, the program turned into a cult classic, but with no new episodes coming, its fanbase had no other choice but to rewatch each episode over and over again, which is exactly how some eagle-eyed viewers were able to point out a mistake from the show's pilot episode. If you look back on that scene now, it seems unbelievable that so many people missed this era when Lost first aired. Online discussions pretty much exploded when viewers took a closer look at the pilot episode and especially the scene where survivors of Oceanic Flight 815 took cover from an exploding jet engine and viewers specifically studied the swooping black object that seemed to have triggered the explosion. Was it a bird? Was it a plane? Or was it the island smoke monster? Another creature yet to be revealed, despite the show having ended already, or perhaps the mystery that would explain all the others in the show. The creators were eventually forced to explain that this one was simply a mistake, an error in CGI, and Lost fans had to continue looking for answers elsewhere. The fantasy horror series Supernatural has been on television since 2005. The CW series stars many great actors, including Katie Cassidy and Mark A. Shepard, but it was the two stars of the series, Jared Padalecki who plays Sam Winchester and Jensen Ackles who plays Dean, who were at the center of one of the most embarrassing mistakes ever made on air. In the show's first season, when Sam and Dean Winchester are tracking down a haunted painting in Providence, Ackles' character gets his brother's attention with a different name, not the characters however. While this small slip-up is not that bad, the brothers cast serious doubt in their exorcism skills when chasing a demon onto a flood in the episode Phantom Traveler. Here, Sam can be heard saying, if she's possessed, she'll flinch at the name of God. In Latin, it's Christo. The problem is that Christo is actually the name for Christ, not God. And on top of that, it's a Greek word, not Latin. Sticking to accurate timelines seems to be an area where a lot of TV shows struggle and even the award-winning comedy Modern Family failed to fact-check their own sequence of events in the third season. Stella! Stella! In one episode, the character of Phil Dunphy, portrayed by Ty Burrell, was learning how to walk on a tightrope, even though two seasons prior, he had revealed that he was an expert tightrope walker after attending trapeze camp. So did Phil lie back then, or did the writers forget about something? Sons of Anarchy may have nailed the facts about the inner workings of an outlaw motorcycle club, but there were still a number of errors that the show's creators made. One example is that the officers in the San Joaquin Sheriff's Office were referred to as sheriffs, even though they should actually have been called deputies. While this is a harmless mistake, it was another, bigger blunder that really caught the viewers by surprise. When Opie Winston, played by Ryan Hurst, attempted to break into a car using a Slim Jim in one episode, viewers could easily see that the vehicle was already unlocked. This mistake could have been avoided by simply taking some extra time to glance over the car once more before filming. But even critically acclaimed shows are susceptible to making bigger errors. Period shows are pretty difficult to pull off, as writers and show creators have to come up with events that take place during a specific time, and this means that the shows are prone to mistakes and that the errors are often never-ending. 
As you might know, the show Mad Men is set in the 1960s, and fans of the show have noticed many factual errors that have messed up the series. In one instance, for example, the character Joan Holloway, portrayed by Christina Hendricks, mentions making a reservation at the New York restaurant, and the only problem is that this upscale, high-end establishment did not actually open until the next decade, in 1974. Just like many other shows, the incredibly successful Netflix series Orange is the New Black has had a few glaring inaccuracies. I will cut you! I will cut you! Don't make me cut you! As you might know, the series revolves around the normally law-abiding Piper Chapman, who is convicted of a decade-old crime of transporting drug money to an ex-girlfriend and sentenced to a year and a half in prison, and eventually gets locked up to face the reality of how life-changing prison can really be. If you regularly watch the show, you will know that Piper's wife and fellow inmate at Litchfield Penitentiary, Alex Pearl Voss, who is portrayed by Laura Preppen, has a salt shaker tattoo. And if you pay close attention to this tattoo, you will notice that it seems to shift and move location depending on the time of day. The Big Bang Theory is one of the most popular and longest-running comedy shows centered around the characters Leonard Hofstadter and Sheldon Cooper, two geeky college physicists who used to share an apartment, as well as their friends Penny, Raj, Howard, Amy and Bernadette. Due to the informational nature of the show and the characters being described as a group of geniuses, scriptwriters hired professional fact-checker David Salzberg. But even Salzberg didn't notice some of the most obvious mistakes that fans immediately pointed out. In the episode The Pirate Solution, Sheldon misquoted two rules of feeding Mogwai after midnight in the movie Gremlins, but even worse was when Amy insisted that the Viennese Danish was invented in Denmark. And even within the show's history, writers have managed to make mistakes by ignoring or simply forgetting past storylines. For example, in the episode The Good Guy Fluctuation, we found out that Leonard can drink wine, but this character trait was disregarded later on, and Leonard has been seen enjoying a glass. And even more embarrassing was when Sheldon told Penny that none of his roommates know how to dance in the episode The Dumpling Paradox, before later showing off his best moves that he apparently mastered in his youth in the episode The Agreement Dissection. It seems like the show could use another fact checker and the writers should work a little harder on trying to keep up with the flawless memories of the show's characters. Buffy the Vampire Slayer was one of the most popular TV shows of the late 90s and early 2000s, and many viewers were in love with Sarah Michelle Gellar as the butt-kicking Buffy Summers and her love interest, the handsome but cursed vampire angel played by David Boreanaz. However, despite the popularity of the show, creators unfortunately didn't hire extra fact-checkers to avoid one major mistake that the viewers will never be able to forget. In Season 5, Buffy and her longtime nemesis and fellow slayer Faith, played by Eliza Dushku, got into a vicious fight. But as the camera tracked the two actresses fighting each other and tumbling down a flight of stairs, viewers could obviously see the cameraman responsible for the previous shot, as he was pretty impossible to miss right on the screen. After this embarrassing incident, the show went through a lot of trouble to remove the cameraman from the scene in reruns of the episode. The space western drama series Firefly may have only lasted for one season, but it still managed to become a cult hit. Since the show was cancelled so quickly, fans had no choice but to binge watch their favorite show on repeat, noticing every little detail in every single episode. But despite being only short-lived, Firefly features a one of the most embarrassing errors in its pilot episode. When the crew on the ship Serenity is attempting to get away from a ship full of murderous reavers, Alan Tudyk, who plays Hoban Washburn, is steering the ship. However, when the ship is home free, Wash relaxes and we can see that Tudyk was only pretending to hold the steering wheel as it is actually nowhere to be seen. And he is not only steering the ship with his mind, but the episode also shows that he apparently relies on crew members, not gas, to run the ship's mule as well. AMC's hit show Breaking Bad enthralled viewers with the story of Walter White, portrayed by Brian Cranston, a chemistry teacher turned drug lord who was battling lung cancer. Unfortunately, there are a bunch of timeline inconsistencies with the show, but fans have concluded that the series took place between the years of 2008 and 2010. <laughs> the 
based on this rather short period of time, writers could only use certain pop culture and historical references in order to maintain the integrity of the show, but they still managed to make one huge mistake in the season 5 episode gliding overall. The episode, which was supposed to take place in 2010, included one reference to the death of Osama bin Laden. However, bin Laden wasn't killed by American forces until the year after, in May 2011, a small detail that the fact checkers apparently overlooked. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.